So we're here at James Calvert Spence uh, College in Amble on GCSE Results Day. Really exciting day for young people up and down uh, Northumberland in the county. Just want to wish everyone good luck on their exams. Whatever your results are today, I hope you're very proud with, uh, with what you've achieved given the struggles that we've had over the last few years. I did pretty well, I think. I got all nines and then an eight in English literature. So I'm really happy with that. I think I, I worked really hard over exam period and just in general. So I'm really glad that I got those results. I think I deserved it. I'm staying at JCC sixth form. I'm hoping to do fashion, sociology and history. So I'm looking forward to it. I think being able to wear my own clothes will be nice and looking forward to doing some subjects that I've never had a chance to do before in school. It was difficult, especially during lockdown, having to shoot online lessons because just the motivation was quite hard and it was, it was a difficult time for everyone. But the teachers were all so incredible and we were able to sort of get through it and yeah, it's all worked out okay, so. And I got an eight in English literature and then nines in everything else, so I'm pleased. <laughs> I was quite nervous. I didn't expect to do that well, especially in like physics and music. I didn't think I was going to get nine, so I'm really pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I'm going to stay on at JCSE and do chemistry, biology and maths at A-level. And I'd like to do veterinary medicine at uni, so. <laughs> going into uh, Asherton College for like, do a joinery course and then for work in Pilsen and Holmes as a joint apprentice joiner. And through my dad, really, my dad said it was probably the best option to leave school going to work then as soon as you get your results just go in for an apprenticeship because that means you've got a job secured and then with being a joiner you can do that for the rest of your life because you earn a good amount of money especially nowadays. I'm over the moon, I'm literally absolutely so chuffed. I got the grades that I needed to stay here for sixth form and considering the fact that I thought I was going to fail maths I'm absolutely like amazed with how I've done. I think you've, you've seen a lot of happy smiling faces this morning. You, we've got you know, young people who are delighted with the GCSE results and, and ready to move on to the next stage of, of their lives, which is, which is what we exist for as a school and um, to serve our community the best way we can, really. We've got um, children, the majority of whom are coming back to our sixth form, which is, which is always lovely. You know, it's always great to, to see them back in, uh, in, in, uh, in year 12. But thanks to the, the great careers advice they've had over these past couple of years that we've also got people going on to apprenticeships and, and moving on to do courses that are more suitable for them and other FA providers. And again, you know, we couldn't be more proud of, of the young people that they've become and ready to go and contribute to, to society. And I think this cohort in particular need to be applauded for the resilience they've shown and, and the character that they've built up over these last few very, very difficult years through the COVID pandemic where the education's been disrupted, they've been working from home, They've been doing blended learning and then they've had to come back in and, and, and sit exams as if nothing's happened really and, and I think the, the outcomes that they've got are a real testament to their, you know, their, their staying power and their resilience and just what wonderful young people they are.